All right, everybody, welcome back to Rob's Metalworks. Metal Mark here, and we are continuing our thrash-tastic voyage here at Backstage Live. It is an honor and a privilege to bring you Mile Petroza from Creator. Thank you so much for being with us, Mile. Always, man, always. Um, Phantom Antichrist came out last year, and it's really a standout album for you guys. In your opinion, what makes this band's, uh, what makes this album stand out more for you guys than other albums in your discography? Um, I think it kind of sums it up. I talked uh, with another journalist today and he reminded me of the fact that it sounds like everything that we've done in the past on one album, kind of. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's what, that's what makes a difference because there's no, um, we didn't particularly do something, anything new, but we did try to make the old exciting and add some new elements like more traditional heavy metal melodies um, but the riffs are typical creator so it's it's a it's a full-on creator album but it's, uh, I think it's just this, I, I, in my opinion if you ask me the simple answer would be the songs are good you know I, I like the songs I, I like the songs a lot so uh, the complicated answer would be we try to blah blah <laughs> Right, right. And when you hear the album, you automatically can recognize that it's creator, it's got that creator feel to it, and it's just great. Um, but with this album, I believe it's the first uh, album with the new label. Did they have any input on the back end as far as your approach to writing this album? Um, no, no, no. They're just a label. They're just there to promote the album when it's done. They never even asked for demo tapes or anything like that. And I, I even if they would have, I wouldn't have, have sent it to them because this is like the creative... Um, the the, the 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 songwriting period you know that's like i never ask anyone in record companies i don't even ask like people that are very close to me like friends for their opinion the only opinion that matters is the band right, right. you know the people in the band of course it's good to know that you guys had a hundred percent control of that um, last year you guys toured in uh, europe in support of phantom antichrist how does it feel to be in the united states supporting it it's already the second tour. We didn't come to San Antonio last time. Um, it's great. We love the USA. We love we love the tour here. We love the people. The scene is very strong, um, and it's um, I like it. I like it. It's always a, a different form of challenge because in Europe, you know, since it's so small, there's a lot. The songs are communic uh, the, the 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 shows are communicated and promoted a lot better and bigger, of course. But here, it's always like. It's all the people that come to the shows are so dedicated. You know, we've been we've had, we've had like people here uh, on following us from 1987, come still coming to our shows. That they became friends, of course. And with uh, being around as long as you guys have, you know, for around 30 years, would you say you have quite a mix of fans of you know guys from all the way back in you know the 80s to you know all the way up to now? Yeah, from since 85, the first time we we toured here was 87. Yeah, that's quite a while. Huh? I, I don't really realize these things, you know, uh, unless somebody brings his kid. <laughs> and the kid is already like 19. I'm like, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know, you don't, you know, you live and you don't feel any different. You know, it's not that I feel different than when I was in my 20s, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just go. With just rock. Yeah, exactly. Rock. And it, I, lo I, I like to be still able to do this. And I'm, I, I actually think I'm a lot um, physically, I'm uh, way more focused than I was back then when I was still partying a lot, you know. Well, it's really cool to see that you're so dedicated, you know, after all this time and you're still giving it, you know, 110%. Um, what's unique about this tour to me is you guys are co-headlining it with uh, Overkill, but you're switching off um, who closes every night. So how do you guys uh, go about deciding who's going to close out a show? You don't, you, you better not ask me. There's like, <laughs> this is something that the booking agents and the managements do the crowd is pretty equal you know the, the creator friends like overkill and vice versa so i don't i don't think it makes a difference you know we go on before them it's great we go on after them it's great so i don't i don't care you know i don't i never um last year we did a, a little bit um uh, different tour with accept and then that was when accept played before us um and um, 
their fans were very much only there for except sometimes you know but for creator overkill it's a very mixed like audience we have a lot of fans from way back and they have a lot of newer fans because their album last album was really good and um so yeah uh nice audiences great great crowds um a lot of fans really love the dvd uh dying alive which came out earlier this year um, talk to us about that and how special was it for you to, you know, bring uh, the European tour to an end and recording that performance in front of uh, your hometown? Well, I called uh, this company from Essen, Germany, that I work with, and the director, and asked him if he would be interested to do a whole DVD for this. And so he came on the tour with us, and we, we, we did a lot of work in it, like a lot of stuff like where the cameras should be, how many cameras we should use, um, what kind of effects to use, and how you know, like the the mosh pit cams were my idea. The cool. the the, the um, strap guitar strap. Um, I really like that one album that Slipknot put out. Uh, the this DVD Slipknot, those disaster pieces, I think it's called. And they had like right 20, cool, 20 yeah. 25 or something cameras, and we wanted to have the same it's amount. Um, you also have something else coming out, I believe, December 10th, the book, uh, Creator, Violent Evolution. Can you talk to us a little bit about your decision to write a book and what fans would expect in it? I just write that book. Write that. Um, it's some guy that wrote a book about Creator, and now they have an English translation that's about it. You know, I'm, it's not, it's not the official autobiography of Creator. It is something, it's like a very short, like, story about creator but it's not the official autobiography that's coming up did you have any input in, on it at all or a little bit a little bit yeah i mean it, it's been out in 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 in, in, in germany for two years already oh, and so okay. it's like it doesn't really make me happy okay. if you know what i mean it's yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not complete okay. and um yeah whatever well, you know there will be that will be a real autobiography okay. yeah. well we look forward to that um, we were hanging out with uh, Larry Berrigan of Hellstar earlier this week, and he was telling us a little bit about your uh, signature guitar, the Jackson uh, Fibia uh, King V. But that's only available in Germany. Why, why is that? I don't know why that is. Uh, it, I think they do some exports, but I'm not sure about it. I mean, there's like, see, let me put it this way. For me, as an artist being from Germany, it was hard enough to get a signature model, model to begin with. The people at Jackson are very, very supportive, and um, they are—they really do believe in, in in the band. But the signature model is, I think, can be—you can get it um, f through our website. You can get that, you know. Um, but it's not really in the shops over here, and that's hopefully that will change soon. Yeah, let's hope because he, he said it he said it was an awesome guitar and Jackson puts out you know great guitars yeah, and I'm sure it's, great. It's, 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 a, it's a very like it's a use it's, 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 it's a guitar for people you know it's a it's a very nice um, guitar for people that start start up it's it's very affordable and um, to me the whole idea was to give like you know when 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 some kid starts playing guitar usually the first guitar that he gets is a guitar that he will one day not play anymore because he gets one for cheap and it's not gonna last when he once he gets on the stage you know or something but this this one is this one is pretty stable it's, you can you can play i play the same guitar on stage. so it's a good intermediary and a good uh advanced guitar too then good good um creator you know they've had a long history in heavy metal and i i really feel that the band is going stronger than ever now um, when it's all said and done for you, Mille, what would you like the band and Mille Petrosa to be remembered for? Oh, that's uh, that is like a heavy, epic, epic question coming up. What, what am I going to answer? However you want to answer. <laughs> I don't know, man. Just, uh, just I like I just I, I I I just like playing music. You know, I like I like being a part of the heavy metal uh, world and a uh, part of the scene and. We've seen it, you know, I've seen this ups and downs, and you know, I, I, I really appreciate the fact that there's metal has come back in the U.S. so strong, and um, just uh, I just want to be remembered as a singer and creator. That's it. <laughs> well, I really feel like the past two years have been kind of like a metal renaissance for everybody in the yeah. genre. You know, you have old bands coming out with new stuff, you have new bands coming out with yeah. new stuff, so it's really just great. Um, 
Now, with it being, you know, here we are almost at the end of 2013, uh, what are creators' plans as far as 2014 go? I think more touring. More touring, more touring yeah. I, we have a lot of things, a lot, lot of offers for next year, so I don't think there's going to be an album before 2015. 2000. I mean, we, I, we needed to take a year off or so. You know, to, to, to write an album, and that's what we're gonna do in 2015. Maybe with some festivals or something. But with this extensive tours that we do, I don't really see a new album until 2015. Well, we really look forward to that here. Um, before we close, anything we missed? Anything you'd like to talk about? Nope. <laughs> I can't think of anything. All right, everybody. Well, I want to thank you so much for agreeing to be on the show. And remember, uh, everybody go check out the Creator's new DVD, Dying Alive, in stores now. And remember, you saw Creator here on Rob's Metalworks. <laughs>